Today at the Vince Electric Learning Laboratory, we move on to rapid style fluorescent fixtures. They are physically more simple, but in fact, they are harder than pre troubleshoot. No starters here, only ballasts. Speaking of ballasts, we're gonna replace one in this episode of the Vince Electric Lining Laboratory. We are now seeing rapid style fluorescent lining, but what is it exactly? Well, it's not that complicated. A rapid star ballast uses a special transformer to accomplish in one single step what a preheat ballast would do in two separate steps. Along with the main coil that supplies the lamps, there are two low voltage coils that, that send around 4 volts through the electrodes to keep them hot so they don't sputter too much during startup. At the same time, the main coil sends around 180 to 200 volts across the tubes. When the cathodes are ready to strike an arc, their open circuit voltage drops below the 200 volts sent by the main coil. The arc can then be started at the tube. In this video, we'll talk about the three main types of rapid star fluorescent fixtures the wraparound, the truffer, and the strip light. From a type to another, things will change a little, but it basically remains similar. Let's get started! We have here a 2 lamp wraparound fixture sporting a Philips magnetic rapid star ballast. It flickers pretty annoyingly at startup. So for this video, I'm going to replace it by a Philips Advance equivalent electronic ballast. The first step is to cut power to make sure you're still alive when it's done. Then re remove the diffuser, if any. My fixture has one, but some fixtures like the strip light don't have any. Remove the tubes as well and store them in a safe place if they're still good. If not, make sure to dispose of the tubes properly. Removing the ballast cover may vary from a fixture to another. Most wraparounds and truffers have a clip-on cover. Once the ballast is exposed, you have two choices. You can either simply cut the wires of the ballast, or remove the lamp holders and unconnect the wires. As a collector, I prefer doing the latter. Removing the lamp holders is usually easy to do. Unscrew the brackets to which the lamp holders are either bolted or just clipped. Then my personal tip, take a paper clip, unbend it and insert it in the holes where the wires are connected. Then pull the wires out of the hole. The paper clip should come off easily as well because the lamp holder can hold copper wires but not steel wires, they're too hard. That's the secret. Afterwards, unconnect the black and white wires from power and unbolt the ballast with a 3 of an inch socket. Make sure to hold the ballast so it doesn't crash on the floor. The next step is to unpack your new ballast and install it in place where the old ballast was. After many tries, get angry and fit the fixture to make it easier to install. Oh, oh wait, I wasn't supposed to add that part. Anyway, the new ballast should have the same size, so bolt it in place using the same bolt. Then connect the wires. On most ballasts, the wiring diagram is on the label. Otherwise, most two lamp rapid star ballasts are connected the following way. The blue wires on one lamp, the red wires on the other lamp, and yellow wires on both. After connecting the wires, place back the lamp holders in place if you remove them. You should now only have one black and one white wire. Connect them to their respective wire from the power source. Now it's time to install back the ballast cover, the lamps and the diffuser if there is one. You're done. Just turn back on the power and enjoy your work. In our next video, the instant star fluorescent follows. <laughs> 